Hello, welcome to a new episode to my tutorial on how to create a Metroidvania game in Unity. Today on this episode I want to show you how to create some sort of fog of war. Because if you go into our map, it's looking now like this. You see as soon as we start the game all rooms are... Um, you can see all rooms and in a normal Metroidvania game um, the map will start, start blank with no rooms to see and if you go into each room uh, it will be um, it will be unlocked on the map and we want to create this effect today and it's quite simple so we have here our map um, it's in the it's in the room grid no wrong it's in the map no it's in the grid map yes exactly and what we have to do is just add a new tile map on top of that tile map that shows our rooms. And um, each time we go into a new room, we delete the tile, uh, tile of the foreground. So um, the rooms behind that foreground uh, become visible. So um, first step is to go to our, on our on our grid map and create um, a 2D object a tile map rectangular and now we can uh, copy the component here uh, in our uh, um, tile map for the rooms and we copy uh, the component component values paste component oh no wrong so we uh, copy uh, the component and we go to the new tile map and we paste the component values and also here we have to copy this too we copy the position and we paste the position in here so now it's on top of each other perfect and now we rename our new um, time map we can call it uh, no we can call it um, for ground map yes and now we go to our tile palette and we select this background tile and we make a big rectangular so and now if we start no. also we have um, to um, select the layer uh, we are using here because this is a layer map the m layer map the map layer is only visible if we uh, select the map so this have to be done okay and if we start now the it's still not working and the second step we have to do is uh, the foreground map have to be uh, in front of the uh, tile map with the rooms so we go to um, to order and layer and we just add a one here so uh, it's in, in front and now if we um, start the game and we uh, show the map the map is completely blank um, now we have to do some code to um, um, yeah to discover the map new. Um, we go to our map script no that's wrong we go to our simple camera alignment script And now we have to add here a new tile map right below the map tile map and we call this 
foreground map tile map. So what we have to do is now select the foreground map tile map and we have to set a tile at the cell position. The cell position is where uh, uh, the room in which we are and uh, set the tile at the cell position no, null. So we did it the tile and this will work. Uh, everything you have to do is um, to go to your main camera to the simple camera alignment script and attach on the foreground map time map the foreground map. And if we are testing the game and we select the map, you can see we only see one room and we can, when we go to the next room you see uh, the next room. So we have now two rooms on our map and if we go to the room on the right side we see all rooms on our map. So there's one problem left and that's if you go to the editor you see that blank foreground um, and we can't see anything so we set the foreground map uh, inactive and we have to manage to activate the foreground map when we start the map in the game. So we go to the simple camera alignment script and there is a question for if whether the map is active or not and when the map is inactive we set the game object of the foreground map time map uh, in to inactive and uh, otherwise we um, set the game object of the foreground map um, to active. And that's quite simple. And if we start the game now, and if we start the map, you can see everything works just fine. Yeah. And that's it for today. Um, I hope uh, this video could help you. Please consider to scrub to give the video a like or to su to subscribe of the channel uh, to learn more about the Unity Metroidvania um, game creation. Also, um, in the next episode, I want to cover uh, to uh, show you to create a more advanced camera alignment script. Um, so until that, I hope you have a good day. See you. Yeah, sorry, uh, just one small reminder. I did a mistake. This line doesn't belong here because in this part it's only activated when our uh, map is active and uh, so the map doesn't get updated when we don't call the map. Uh, the best thing to do is just put this line uh, up here so it doesn't matter uh, when we uh, the map gets always updated and then um, this will function well. Yeah, um, this was a complete video. I hope you uh, learned a lot and yeah like and sh share and subscribe maybe. Um, I will try to put uh, new videos in future but since I start working um, it can take a while. So see you.